Keith. Come on, Keith. All right, guys, give a round of applause for Keith. Doesn't he look fantastic? This guy's been a fantastic addition to the festival, a fantastic addition to Jitep. If you've seen him in his little parasol, he rocks it. He's a little wizard. I love it. All right, Keith. Over to you. Brought to you once more close to mine. And if the hour is gracious, let's each raise one glass more. Drink to future occasions, met okay, on another floor. We will raise a glass together to our having met tonight. And to fates that brought us once again, side by side, by a light. Finally, let's raise a parting glass. If our roads never again shall meet. Still we will say we parted friends, ere we climbed back to our feet. And drank a toast to each other, that all our roads long be, and whether through good or ill, they end in good company. Ave at que vale. Hail and farewell, my friends. Here's to one more meeting, until we meet again. Thank you so much, Keith.
about dogs. I feel like you can really just... How to make fermented rice at 4 o'clock today. How to make fermented rice. 4 o'clock today, anybody's looking to learn how to make delicious, tasty, nutritious, fermented rice. 4 o'clock today at... Where is it? Where is it? At the kitchen. Of course it's at the kitchen. Where else is it going to be? Down by the river. For many rice, four o'clock today. I, I look at this man. This is a man who knows how to make delicious food. Who knows how to make gorgeous sounds. Who knows just how to be himself. And if being yourself isn't just what it's all about, then I was going to swear. Then, then what is it about? Because really, it feels like just like scraping away all of the bits that just stop you radiating you. Wait. Thanks, dude. I'm a hugger. Seems like everybody is. Mm, delicious. Very sweaty. This is just a live improvised jam. We've actually never performed together, so... Yeah, it's just something completely different um, from the last thing. That was amazing, you guys. That was so beautiful. I love them. I was just sitting there, like, feeling... My eyes were filling with love for all those guys as they were singing with so much heart. Um, so I've, I helped with setup for this festival, so I've been here Thank for two you. weeks. And um, so two full weeks now, and it's funny because I think it's almost like a marathon where you hit a wall and you're like, what? And then you hit the wall, but then when you get past the wall, you're like, oh, I guess I live here now. I, I, I am dust. I, I breathe dust, I am dust. I've become one with the dust. So anyway, that's where I am today, and I'm very, very happy to be here. Whoa. Um, I am a mother of five beautiful children, and um, so <laughs> I would, you probably have seen them around. I would like to say that um, memorization is in my future, so forgive me, I have my phone with me for my poetry. I'm going to read a few poems for you guys, and I hope you enjoy. This one is about, um, yeah, I'll just read it, actually. <laughs> it doesn't take long on the motorbike before you remember how to write a poem. You lean into it. Hair flying behind you like octopus tentacles. You become urgent and ugly. Wind pulling back your cheeks. Hands gripping the bars. One long muscle, one long word of longing. Pieces of clothing flapping around you. You look forward and not back. And all the giant teak leaves are falling, skittering, rattling across the road, crunching under your tires. The grasses are browning, the trees bare on the mountain. You might be crying. You are in the dry times now, with the sky a hard, chipped blue. You leave it all. You find the words among piles of leaves. Cicadas sing them to you. One koal tells you a single word again and again. You lean into the heartbreak. All the tasks and lists have piled up, fuzzing your head into a cottony death. But you are one long muscle now, riding into the one endless word that might be a road, singing with birds and insects all the longing you own. All the longing. Thank you. So, um... The, have you guys ever, like when you type into Google and it gives you suggestions and it's like you might write something like why am and the suggestions are like I, am I alone or like you find these, these searches that are so intense and so like whoa people are Googling this stuff. So this is a little conversation that I had with Google one day um, and I can't really figure out any way to read this poem except to be like myself on this side and Google on this side so okay. <laughs> So Google, why does my heart hurt when I'm sad? <laughs> Terms like heartache are not just a metaphor, but it actually physically hurts. There are many physical reactions to emotional pain. Google, it is wave after wave. Scientists believe it is your vagus nerve, which is connected to your chest, stomach, head, and brainstem. Google, it feels like I'm being hollowed out by a spoon. It feels like my heart is being dipped in acid. It feels as though I will never be okay again. It feels like fear is water and someone is throwing buckets on me. Mice also experience sensitivity to pain when they are sad. 
I think it will kill me, Google. I don't think I will survive this time. I know the feeling. You? Compounded search terms, people asking, why do I hurt? Why do I hate myself? What is the cure for heartbreak? It is all too much sometimes. What do you do? It's in the other search terms. All the people who looked for how to be a better friend, how to make a daisy chain, poems about God, or how to show my wife that I love her more than anything. All those men looking for ways to show love. All the people asking me how to be a better friend. What do you say to that one? Slip your hand into someone else's. Offer warmth through your eyes. Accept the unknowing, the unfinished. Accept the search. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rachel. That was awesome. Everybody is Mami Miyuki. Everybody is Mami Miyuki. Who hasn't gone for a hot room on a cold night? Please come on stage if you're gonna make any sound. Yeah, so you guys got to sing, whatever. Who dares? In a mic.
you mean now, Alex? Until you expand yourself into realms that you've never been in, it's kind of crazy. It's absolutely amazing, and it's something I really love. Thank you. Will somebody like make a little whiteboard and a tally of the times I say something I really love about Shambhala is?
Good. So everyone knows that the best part of Shambhala is the announcements. Yeah, right? Who doesn't love the announcements? They are incredible. I listen in all three languages even though I don't understand. I'm like, ooh, that word. Yeah, that's that. I'm learning, you know? The announcements are a time for everyone. So I decided we needed more announcements. So I have some very important announcements if you'll clean a little of the dirt out of your ears. First, we have the annual Shambhala announcement. No nudity anywhere at Shambhala. I've been seeing a lot of bucks. Uh, no nudity at all, so please keep your clothes on in the shower. Don't shower alone, try and save water. So clothed with other people so they can also make sure you're not naked, okay? Accountability. Um, we're extending this to male nipples, so I'm seeing a lot of those looking at me. Please cover them up, all right? We want to be respectful and they are still technically boobies. Um, but if you are gonna be nude, please do it politely. Uh, please don't poop at Shambhala. This is a poop-free festival. Um, we don't have any bullshit here, so please don't do that. Um, if you are gonna poop though, please do it in the toilet. Thank you. Just, um, you just squat and, yeah, don't worry, that's coming up in the announcements for the workshops. Um, ooh, uh, we're trying to save water, so just please drink chai. It's over there. Uh, there was a lost child, a little concerning, so if you lost a child, please go look for him, because we also lost him. Okay. Um, no peeing in the hot springs. It's actually, it's not how they work, guys, okay? They get hot on their own, it's natural, so please do that elsewhere. Ooh. If you're doing things that some people might not be okay with, then maybe try to make those things look not so obvious, because some people might not like those things, and then other people might come make trouble for the festival. So please don't do drugs, but if you are going to do drugs, please make them look like cigarettes. All the drugs can be turned into cigarettes. There'll be a workshop. Um, don't smoke bongs in public, okay? Make it look like a cigarette. Also, um, we've lost a bong. It's about yay big. So if you've seen that, it has a, it has a sticker on it that says, hey, Popa. And uh, please don't keep it, guys, all right? It's a family heirloom. Bring it to the lost and found. Again, about yay big, okay? Please don't keep it. Again, it's been in the Shambhala family for decades. Um, that said, sharing is caring. Okay. So now we have the uh, workshops for tomorrow. Are you guys ready? You've been hitting the workshops pretty hard? You're going to hit them harder tomorrow. Are you ready? Okay, tomorrow we have Sniff Your Way to Love. Armpit sniffing, speed dating with Kurt. So you're just going to... You're gonna go around and blindfolded, you know, since love is blind, but smelly. So you're just gonna blindfold and go around and smell people's armpits, and then based on that attract attraction level, you're gonna find your perfect love. Okay. Um, next we have intro to toilet pooping with a live bum gun tutorial, guys. You don't want to miss this. There's been poop on the floor every year, so we're, we're getting ahead of it. Um, fire spinning acro yoga for beginners. No experience needed, we're just gonna light you right up and flip you in the air. Uh, next we have feet painting. Yeah, it's like finger painting, but with your feet. And uh, they also need a volunteer to model nude for the painters. So if you'd like to volunteer, just please find the guy with paint on the bottom of his feet and talk to him. Uh, fart yoga. Yoga flow specifically designed to get your flatulence moving. Um, it's a great practice for the constipated and the poop shy. So maybe hit the pooping workshop first and then that one. He'll be all set. Um, polite moshing to experimental folk music. That's a kid-friendly workshop, okay, so bring your little ones. Oh, next, I'm really excited about this one. Um, we have the dog meetup by the Good Smelling Stick. So I can translate for the dogs if you need. Um, let me also announce that in dog for them. Okay. <laughs> 
Uh, next we have Hey Popa language lessons. I'm completely making it all up, so come learn nonsense. Oh, this one's really exciting. I've seen a little bit of it going on. Partner dirt rubbing. Using dirt to stimulate your relationship. Okay, guys, we're gonna get all in the crevices. And next, a very important workshop, um, coping with Shamblabla brain. How to reintegrate into society after Shambhala. And to do that, you can come to a comedy work show on Tuesday, the day, comedy smoke show. Is that what I said, guys? Rewind, Shamblabla brain. Comedy smoke show on February 25th. If you look at that mountain, it's kind of smoky. It makes my little heart sad. So we're laughing for a good cause at Freebird Cafe, February 25th. See you there. You just have to sit, laugh, and eat, just like right now, but different. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jules. one to get over this the first one to the men I wanted to be better than all those who came before well I Making comparisons, you were headed for the door. Well, I will not forget you, but I can't forgive your sins. Half happy to have met you. is my favorite festival so I'm gonna play my favorite song and it's gonna be stuck in your head until next Shambhala so have fun with that and I'll see you next Shambhala to play for you again the lazy poet going to Vegas the lazy poet is going to Vegas the lazy poet is going to Vegas now if he won't who will save us if he can't? Who will raise us, free us from that which plagues us now? The lazy poet sat on the beach of a tropical paradise island. Words of description were far out of reach for an endless horizon. He traveled to spicier lands, stared into round white eyes, ate curry with his hands. In a culture he couldn't describe, he camped at the DMZ, where life explodes every day. Agent Orange Juice and Tea, he didn't know what to say. words to come. The Pleiadians filled their pages, but a cat had got his tongue. His notebook is filled with stamps. His passport is filled with lines. What is he searching for? 
Why is it so hard to find all the lazy poet? He's going to Vegas, the lazy poet. He's going to Vegas, the lazy poet. He's going to Vegas now. If he won't, who will save us? If he can't, who will raise us, free us from? which plagues us now he decided to go deep after spreading out so wide he bought himself a door he locked himself behind oh he tore up the floor painted each chair wall a new shade he created a Tinder account. A genius has got to get laid. Existence moves through us, defined in its path, but clueless. But it'll build and embody a self-aware being that'll study itself and begin inquiring as to how and why it came to be and what its future might be intending. Once it's smarter than ever foreseen, its rate of advancement will be uncompromising life is an extremely complex anomaly and at one point it dawned on me that the holes cut through the canyons the rivers through the mountains it's the way your blood flows the reason the flowers grow it's pathfinding and it's embodied everything trillions of atoms in a cell millions of billions of stars well a single one powers our cities with solar cells yeah the metaphor bodes pretty well a universe a city a cell all just spider webs of light beams of might that provide us with sight but what we see with just our eyesight's just a sliver of the spectrum just visible light the rest of it drives everything its way, defines a single principle, a single way to behave as each ray gets absorbed to an electron's collapsing sine wave, like a rocket propels in a microscopic orbit, like everything, whether or not you know it. And in addition, the future will begin to listen as it races and paces and unmistakably faces the forces and courses of every step that's ever been taken, every problem that's ever awakened, every molecule has ever been shaken, twisted and turned, suspended and burned, toppled and churned by time, the intertwined paradigm that defines and redefines everything within and beyond our minds. Yo, if you take the omnipresence of stuff and you match it against the omniscience of us, we'll find ourselves omnipotent enough to say, Fuck the inevitability of entropy, the human race, we have the capability to stop the universe from infinitely cooling down from disorder and complexity instead we'll combat with our intention to construct infinite longevity. We use our ingenuity, our intelligence, our creativity, and our technology to stand against and defeat the universe's inflexibilities. For thousands of years, humans thought they were special, but now we know we were just one vessel, a single instance of something true across existence. It's all self-aware, not just in our minds, but everywhere. And just like every city, and just like every cell, the universe is a machine running parallel to you. And just like you, it wants to keep living, and it's using the human race to do its bidding. <laughs> Once upon a time, the universe split open once upon a time, and since then, winter battles, summertime. Soon humans will recreate it with calculation. We'll rip apart space and augment creation. Because before we existed, the atom was always whole. And once the power of the Big Bang is under our control, we'll shift our focus to master the black hole. And when we do, we'll travel space and time and be entropy's damage control. All right, that's it. That, yeah. Are you not entertained? It's a poem by Dr. Seuss. Congratulations! Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You got brains in your head. You got feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own. And you know what you know. And you are the guy who decides where to go. You look up and down the streets. Look them over with care. About some you may say, oh, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down any not-so-good street. And you might not find any you want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. It's open as air in the wide open air. Out there, things can happen and frequently do to people as brainy and footsy as you. 
and then things start to happen. Don't worry, don't stew. Just go right along, you'll start happening too. Oh, the places you'll go! You'll be on your way up, you'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers who soar to high heights. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang and you'll soon take the lead wherever you go. You'll be best of the best. Wherever you fly, you will top all the rest. <laughs> Except when you don't. Because sometimes you won't. I'm sorry to say so. And sadly it's true, but bang-ups and hang-ups can happen to you. You can get all hung up on a prickly perch. Your gang will fly on, you'll be left in a lurch. You come down from that lurch with an unpleasant bump. And chances are then that you'll be in a slump. And when you're in a slump, you're not in for much fun. Unslumping yourself is not easily done. You come to a place where the streets are not marked. Some windows are lighted, but mostly they're dark. A place you could sprain both your elbow and chin. Do you dare to stay out? Do you dare to go in? How much can you lose? How much can you win? And if you go in, do you turn left? Or right, or right and three quarters, or maybe not quite, or go around back and sneak in from behind. Simple. It's not. I'm afraid you will find for a mind maker upper to make up his mind. You get so confused that you start and to race down long wicked roads at a grind neck and pace and grind on for miles across weirdish wild space. Headed, I fear, towards the most useless place. The waiting place for people just waiting. Waiting for the bus to go. Waiting. Oh, for the train to go. <laughs> the bus to come, the plane to go. The rain to rain, the snow to snow. Or waiting around for a yes or a no. Or waiting for their hair to grow. Everyone is just waiting. Waiting for the fish to bite Or waiting for the wind to fly a kite Or waiting around for Friday night Or waiting perhaps for their Uncle Jake Or a pot to boil, or a better break A string of pearls, a pair of pants, a wig with curds, or another chance Everyone is just waiting no, that's not for you. Somehow you escape all that waiting and staying. You'll find the bright places where boom bands are playing. With banners flip flapping once more, you'll ride high. Ready for anything under the sky. Ready because you're that kind of a guy. Oh, the places you go. There's fun to be done. There are points to be scored. There are games to be won. And the magical things you can do with that ball will make you the winniest winner of all. Fame! You'll be famous as famous can be with the whole wide world watching you win on TV. Except... <laughs> when they don't. Because sometimes they won't. I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too. Games you can't win because you'll play against you. All alone, whether you like it or not. Alone will be something you'll be quite a lot. And if you're alone, there's a very good chance that you meet things that scare you right out of your pants. There are some down the road between hither and yon that can scare you so much you won't want to go on. But on you will go, though the weather be foul. On you will go, though your enemies prowl. On you will go, though the hack and cracks howl. On what of many a frightening creak, though your arms may get sore and your sneakers may leak. On and on you will hike, and I know you will hike far and face up to your problems, whatever they are. You'll get mixed up, of course. As you already know, you get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. 
So when you step, step with care and great tact and remember that life's great balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous and deft and never mix up your right foot with your left. So, will you succeed? Yes, of course, indeed. 98% guaranteed. <laughs> Kid, you will move mountains. So, be your name. Baxbaum, or Bixby, or Bray, or Mordecai, Ali, Van El, no shade. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. What a journey, ladies.
ジャパニーズオリジナルソングシンギンしますオッケーワーキンワーキンエブリワンワーキンワーキンバットノーマネーディスソングブルースオッケーほな歌いますよいしょ
I can know you from the start of feeling bad. There's no gold, yeah, but I'm not in blue. Lionel Gekui, Eba Sel Gekui, Tunan Hea, Yellow says he's on bed. Zima is to men, all up with Villos, Net Griodin, Elo on Illos, Elo on Illos, yeah. Ranan Sabono. Mate pimos, la pasa tal y me lena des, me quita carina, si me quiso me dando la tuya de los, me ha quebrado de mi ven, me lo olvido, no cansaba no, daba de crau, si ya es que muere. Oh, oh, oh. 
Shambhala, then I don't know what is. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, I want to give you, I want you to give a huge round of applause to everyone who's performed here, okay? One, two, three. Thank you all so much. All the performers, all the poets, all the comedians, everyone who helped make it the last three hours what they were, and every single one of you for helping making this festival what it is. Uh, I especially want to thank Aya for pulling me in on this and everyone who works backstage in Shambhala for like making this whole thing happen, right? Just give me some love, guys. Hey, Papa! Hey, Papa! Yeah. 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 Yeah.